Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone, we are just literally outside Stamford Bridge where Newcastle have gone down 1-0. This is the last word. You know what's coming up, we've got in-game clips. We're going to hear from Eddie Howe a little bit later in this video. Me and Harry will talk about the game and um, we'll talk about the, uh, the run that's finally come to an end, the magnificent run. But as ever, One Football proudly sponsor us. Sam, what are you doing? I'm just checking through um, all my football apps just to get some of the latest news. Well, you don't need to. You need the One Football app. The One Football app sponsors Newcastle Fans TV and it has all of the latest breaking news, putting loads of articles together. Even Steve Bruce is on there when he's been announced as West Brom manager recently. It's all up to date. The best thing about that app, it pings when there's breaking news. You need it, Sam. Get downloading the One Football app. The link is in the description for that. I'm downloading it now. Yeah, so that was me and Sam recorded that um, about six weeks ago now, wasn't it? But yeah, One Football have been a great sponsors to us, and uh, they keep you up to date with uh, all the best in the app, all the stats, all the possession stats, the news, rumours, you name it, it's all in the app. But I'm um, joined by Harry. Uh, we've done the match reaction a little bit earlier. I'm going to dissect the game a little bit more. Um, I'll just pause, smash that like. Come on, smash it for all the graph we're doing. Let's begin with the lineups. You look at Chelsea's first. Let's, oh, let's mix up. Let's go with Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think of them, there's still talent on the bench and then that's starting level. Brilliant. Um, imagine how, ma how, 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 many, how many of them have we taken our team? You've got, you got Havertz, you've got, you got Mount, um, Pulisic and players like that on the bench. You've got Hakim Ziyech starting, Kante, Jorginho. So many players that would just slot right into our team, whether you like them or not, in my opinion. But talented team, worth hundreds of millions of pounds. It's funny what money can do to a team, yeah. isn't it? It's funny that. <laughs> and it's funny where it might be going. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we've got a video coming up in a couple of days about that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at the Newcastle side. Um, I said I thought there would be changes, Harry. Um, I'm not actually that surprised when I seen the likes of Miggy because I, I said it'll happen and Sean in midfield and Mankiw back in and stuff. And um, But he did change the system. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that little bit surprised me because he's been playing four at the back in this great run. And then he switched it to five. Was that the right decision? I think so. If when you look at the performance, we we performed, I think, really well for the large majority of the game, right up until the end when when they scored that goal. Um, I think it worked quite well because in the first half, particularly, we were quite high, the wing backs were quite high up, so it was more of a three at the back than a five at the back, and um, it, it worked better for rotation as well. There wasn't, I don't, I don't think there was another midfielder on the bench. Shelby and Willock were both missing so yeah. there wasn't really anyone else to slot into the midfield unless you play Miggy in the midfield or something like that so I think it was probably the right decision I think that none of the defenders did any harm other than the goal uh, which we'll come on to obviously um, so uh, yeah I had no problems with the system I think yeah. there's always going to be a bit of trouble with one, one up top Chris Wood when we're playing away from home a slightly deeper long balls up to him you know there's always going to be a problem getting service but I think he, he did well in that respect anyway, I'm sure we'll come on to that so yeah <laughs> yeah there was the wing backs uh, <laughs> reminds me of the Steve Bruce days but I can understand that I've said this if we play wing backs against a Chelsea or a Liverpool or a Man City way I can get I'll accept that so we'll get on with the game it's not the most prettiest game there's I think six Premier League games today mm -hmm. which is like mad for Sunday I don't think this will be top I think it's to be down the pecking order. Kind of just, again, it's not the prettiest. But no, not loads of chances for both sides. But how did you make the first half? You touched upon it briefly there. First half, I thought we were we were really impressive. We we were we didn't have a lot of the ball. I think at one point we had 20, 27 odd percent. It was we we were getting we were, we were getting outplayed on the ball. But we someone's having a piss right next. To me. <laughs> That's why we're laughing. Um, yeah, but other obviously we didn't have a in lot front of the of ball. A piece fan. <laughs> Um, we'll leave that one there. Um, so we uh, we pressed really high. Chelsea, whenever Chelsea had a goal kick or, or the ball deep in their own half, we pressed really high. We pressed them well. He's gone, everyone. He's gone. And yeah, I, I was really impressed by the pressure we put on at times in that first half. Miggy chance right at the end. That's really all, oh, yeah, the only one course, that I had, wasn't course. it? Yeah, Miggy. Miggy Great we, had a, we had a corner, didn't we? Mick comes out to Miggy, hits one on the volley at about 20, 25 yards out. Literally. Great, great, it's clean hit. It's not the not the easiest or or the hardest of saves for yeah. Mendy really. It's a 
it's not a simple save, but it's one he should be dealing with, and he did. And then it comes right back out to Fabian Chair. Was he onside? I, I think he was. It was, but he blasted. Uh, Fabian Chair, and he, for me, he's got to put it on target, to be honest. And he's just he's hit it first time, smashed it over, and could have could have been completely different if he puts that in. It's unf- frustrating, really, but um, it's, it's not one of those where you look back on it really because the performance was brilliant. I, yeah. Yeah. High pressing, as we say. Um, and I think only about 10 minutes earlier, there was a chance, I think it was Wood and Dan Byrne across come in. One of, them, one of them gets a slight flick and takes it away from the other one. Um, you'll see all of that in the, um, the vlog as well. But going in at half time, nil nil. Pretty confident, fans in full voice. Again, you'll see that um, in the vlog earlier if you haven't seen it. We come out, we think, right, okay, I'm expecting Chelsea to throw and Pepper at the goal. I didn't see that, to be honest. And the longer the game went on, the more and more confident I was personally of Newcastle getting something from this game because I just couldn't see Chelsea scoring. And now they've seen Lukaku come on and now you've seen Pulisic and there was changes and Kovacevic came on and what have you. I just wasn't impressed by Chelsea. I wasn't impressed, but I'd, they were definitely more threatening I didn't see that. it coming. I I didn't see it coming, but I saw more of it in the second half than I did in the first. For instance, that yeah. T- Timo Werner... When he was offside, goes oh, round the keeper. I, I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a penalty. To oh, be honest, he dived. I've got it. I've got it. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen missed it. But I thought it was going to be a penalty. I was very, very scared. But um, I did think Chelsea provided more in the second half. Although, the, again, no discredit to us because we defended superbly. It, tell, it tells you a lot when their centre back Rudiger is bursting forward, yeah. trying to make things happen. In all fairness, he does. He does that on the regular, but. It does does say a lot. Though. When it ta- when it takes that to unlock our defence, it does say a lot. Really does. And obviously, ESM came on when it was nil nil at that stage, and then didn't do too much. Harry's talked about it in the match reaction. He was, you know what you know what you get of ESM. He's out. He was hogging the left. They were doubling up on him. Wasn't loads of joy. But, you know, Bruno got another start today. I thought he was nice in spells and starting, mm-hmm. but there was a lot of off the ball running for Newcastle, high pressing. Sean Longstaff grafted his arse off, didn't see much of the ball. There was loads that we can talk yeah. about, but we'll talk about that the the goal, but the ball comes over the top. Dan Byrne, who was absolutely sensational up until that point, he's been sensational ever uh, since he signed from the club. I've got to point the finger at him. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It's just a lapse in concentration, isn't it? And he's mm. he's he's turned the wrong way and he's he, you his know, Dan Byrne, he's, he's he's not the most agile of, of you. <laughs> so yeah, Havertz has caught him in behind and he's one touchdown and pass to Bravka, not, not much he can do. It, it is really, it's a bit of a pill to swallow because, as Lee said, it didn't really look like too much that they were going to score. I, I thought we, we both thought we were going to hold out. So, yeah, it's a frustrating one. It is, it is frustrating. And how makes a double change? Even Dwight Gale going to run out. Got a good record here, actually, Stanford Bridge. And um, he brought on Fraser, but it was literally, you're talking the 89th minute and it didn't have an impact. Mm. We didn't even really test the goalkeeper one more time. It was all Chelsea had possession. They were just running the game down. But um, well, yeah, go on. Sorry. I was just going to say there was. I remember now there was a good, um, good chance from a free kick. Head I think it was Fabian. Straight might the, have been straight, the cells straight, straight the keeper. The keeper. Yeah. yeah, but we didn't. We didn't create too much either. To be fair, but we were we were resolute. That's what I'll say. Ooh, big name, big word. Sorry. Yeah, Eddie how? The penalty with the use of VAR, where Jacob Murphy goes down in the box with his shirt being pulled. I cannot understand how that's not been given. I cannot understand how the referee's not been asked to go to the monitor and review, review his decision. For me, that makes a mockery of VAR, really. I think it's got to be used in that situation and the right outcome's got to be a penalty. And we're still in a relegation battle. We have some big games to come, some tough games. I think we've got a really difficult-looking fixture list. So I'm under no illusions that we, we have to respond in our next game. I mean, it's a massive one against Everton. So... We're looking forward to the challenge ahead. So that was Eddie Howe. Obviously, he's disappointed, but Harry, this run that we're aware on, and we're nearly a stretch at 10 games. It's incredible, though. I know it's disappointing. We've got a long trip home for both of us. But, you know, we're, we're outside the Stampad Bridge with a, a very much a weakened side, taking Chelsea at the 90th minute. Nine games unbeaten. And I said to you, I'm not actually too disappointed because you want graft. And I, we got that from the lads, not so much in the final third, yes, but we've come away from Stamford Bridge thinking, what if? And that's what if with a rotated side. Yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't ask for much more away at Stamford Bridge than 100% effort, maximum effort, and that's what they did. It's exactly what they did. They, they all ran the hearts out today. Possibly we could have made changes earlier just to keep the energy up, but 
brilliant, just brilliant effort and gratitude. Fighting for the badge, really. That's you just love to see it. We're missing Joe Linton, missing Shelby, missing Willock, miss Wilson Fra Trippier. Fraser on the bench, Wilson Trippier, yeah. Yeah, there's loads. Yeah, missing 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 half a team or more. So yeah, you, you can't fault a, a one nil loss when they've worked as hard as that. We haven't been battered, we haven't been embarrassed. It's not a one nil when it should have been three or four, it's a one nil when it could have been nil nil or yeah. one one. So yeah. Can I fault it? Can I fault it? Chelsea fans, let us know because I thought you were poor. I know you've got the win, fair play, but I wasn't impressed by you. That's probably why you're not going to catch Liverpool and Manchester City. But Newcastle will march on. They've got another game on Thursday. It doesn't stop. Maybe a nice little break now because obviously the um, the club have been down in the London area for the last few days, and it's a, it's for, what four days, four days, yeah, four days yeah. to the next one. So which is Everton and they're fighting for their lives and would be great to put a nail in their coffin, I'm not going to lie, but um, I'll keep all of that quiet maybe till afterwards because I'm a good as some. But from Stamford Bridge, from me and Harry, we'll see you later.